I declare what you have lost being given back unto you. I declare what you lost being given unto you. I declare prayer restoration. I declare meditation restoration. Because something interfered with your mind. Something has caused you to forget. Something has caused you to forget. Something interfered with your mind. Something caused you to forget. And has interfered with your mind. You forget easily. Bring them. You forget easily. Bring them. Bring them. You forget easily. 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 You forget easily. You forget easily. It has interfered with the mind. You just forget. This is a dangerous situation when someone forgets easily. You don't know when to pray. You don't know when to fast. You don't know when to read the Bible. You don't know when to do what is right. So they need help. Because if you forget easily, I'm going to read the Bible now. It's gone. Bring us home. I'm going to read the Bible now. It's gone. So you've lost your contact with God. You've lost your operation with God. You've lost your appointment with God. I'm going to pray now. You no longer communicate with him. It's a dangerous moment when one has got such a mind. Do we love Jesus Christ? So it disturbs one's appointment with the master. So I'm going to read the Bible now. I can't anymore. So at the same time, Bible is your enemy. So such a spirit makes the Bible your, your enemy. And yet the Bible is not your enemy. You have to learn. So I'm going to pray for all of you. For God to set you free from this spirit. Your mind has been interfered with. You forget easily. Some of you read the Bible all of a sudden you are attacked by pains you are attacked by sickness you are attacked by sickness just bring them you are attacked by pains you are attacked by sickness bring her bring her you try to read the bible you are attacked by pains you are attacked by sickness bring this one here you are attacked by pains, you are attacked by sickness, you try to read. Now, it's as if the Bible is your enemy. It's as if now you have to be healthy when you're not reading the Bible. You get it? So the Apostle Paul says, we are not unaware of the devil's schemes. God loves you guys. Can I finish here? Amen. And they're just going to be prayed for for that. It's the issue of the mind, ne? Or amen. <laughs> Not to worry, guys. All I'm saying now, as long as I've spoken to you, ne? get this, ne? the hand goes to the root. It will speak to the root problem. Like I spoke to and revealed the root problem of these people. Ne? So laying hand of you goes to the, to the root. Ne? Fine. Are we happy? Are we fine, our sister? You get it, ne? Are we fine? So, but the spider webs up with your issues. Right? Sometimes we feel like things are touching you. Right? Yes. Right? Yes. For how long has it been happening? It's been long. It's been it started long. started from when I was dating the father of my kids. Ah, rough. 
Rough sister. <laughs> My sister, rough. Rough. Mm. Huh? Yeah. If you grow up ne? and refuse when some people tell you like you're a, like you do things like a boy. Yes. Huh? Yes. Refuse, ne? Yes. Don't allow it and they would name it tomboy. Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. They would name it tomboy. You are a tomboy. Please refuse. That's only rough. Because it's not an issue that you had a boyfriend and it was this. You were told when you were growing. Yes. That you are a tomboy. Yes. You get it? Yes, but even now, now, like some ladies, they, they don't want to date me. They want to a... date you, sister. <laughs> refuse. Mm. When they say you are a tomboy, refuse. And now you are admired by ladies. Yes. Refuse when they say you do things like a man, you do this. But now on the way, you met a boyfriend who's your match. <laughs> 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 Yeah? <laughs> you, you get it, no? Yes. Sometimes when you grow, if, even if you have a child, if you hear anybody saying to a child, Tom boy, look at them with a serious look. God has blessed me with a girl. Because this is now what she suffers with. She's not supposed to be going through this. And now parents, now you just ignore it. They call a child a, a tomboy. That's how you grew up. Am I right? Yes. And now who admires you? Ladies. Let's live for Jesus Christ. <laughs> when you grow, the moment they say you're a tomboy, refuse. I'm a girl. Don't put a boy there. If you put a boy, you even sinned against God. Are we not surprised at what I'm saying now? Because she's been told, you're a tomboy. As I'm saying, before she goes in further, no, this is the issue. You grow up being told that you're doing things like a boy, you're a tomboy. Or not. Even though there's a potential girl there, your energy doesn't determine that you, you, you are a boy. No. No, you are a woman. Yes. And I will be like feeling like to date them. But no. So... Say you were close, please. Don't say you feel like, let's talk yes. about it now. Yes. Please, let's yes. speak the truth. The truth sets us free. Amen. Because I'm about to reveal the truth now. Please. Amen. Please, let's speak the truth. Don't say you'll be feeling like, say I dated I'm about to reveal the truth now. I don't just start with the tomboy. I don't just start with the tomboy. Because when I talk about spider webs, I said now every one of them has got subtitle. One would think that they experience the same thing. I'm going to speak the same thing. No, no, no. Everything has got its own root. Please don't say, I feel like. Yes, we are. Huh? I was close with some ladies. No, don't say I was close. What is close? I can stand I next dating. to you. I'm close to you. I'm close to you, but I'm not dating you. <laughs> no, you dated. Please, I'm coming straight now. Don't you, I'm not surprised when I start by saying, don't allow when you grow. You'll be called a tomboy. And now you say, I feel like, no, 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 no. Speak the truth. You, you dated them. Yes. You had... A relationship with a with woman. woman. No, the truth sets free. Now, I'm still going. Don't try to cover it. Because me, God has already revealed it to me. Amen. I'm talking about spider web. You thought of many thought I was going to speak like the lady. No, no. no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's why I started by saying, don't allow it. When you grow and you'll be called a tomboy, you, this lesbianism started with practice. Yes. 
it started with what you practiced. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. You practiced it. You tasted it. Yes. You practiced it. And now that's what troubled you. And you started developing those feelings. Yes. And don't say, I feel like, no, you dated them not just yes. once. It's true. Not just once. You tried to be a lover tomboy. It's because you true. said, I will finish them. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, you wait. You said, I will finish them. No, it beats us, Javana. Yes, let me talk about it. Let's set people free. Listen, if we don't reveal secrets, how can you know that God is here? How can you know that God is here? So, listen, I don't want to minister without teaching everybody. I want to minister so that you can learn. And that's why I live up our like <laughs> How would you know that you will catch what I'm doing? Learn. And it's important to live by the truth. In it, pursue love. Because some gifts come to people without pursuing love. The first thing, pursue what? That's how the Apostle Paul puts it. First, pursue what? Love. Don't be misled when he says most especially this. You can't do without love. And some will try to teach that that gift is better than love. What a half. You will go crazy. God is love. That's why I'm saying now the problem is let's you date it. Yes. And now the moment that's why the moment when people say I'm even feeling, you, now you drive me even deeper to tell you, no, what you did to this girl. And that's why I'm saying with you, it started with practice. Yes. It started with practice. Where did you go to school? So go block V. The house that you visited and it was in your room. Hmm? Yes. Huh? It was yes. in a room. <laughs> no. Don't be scared. I won't say I'm a human being. I'm just used by God. The house we visited and it was in a, in a room. In a room. How did it start now? Practice. Am I right? Yes, Daddy, you are right. It started with the house you visited. But I'm, I'm going to take you back. Don't allow it. You... I would say about eight, nine years. No? There's a woman who spoke to you. No? And you were away from the yard. But she didn't handle you correctly. I want you to take it back and remember eight, nine years ago. Eight, nine years when you were young. Eight, nine years. She didn't touch you correctly. You can't remember? I remember that there was a woman that she was talking to me, but we didn't finish it. No, you did, that, didn't, that, that time you didn't, didn't do it. Me. I want to put it right. You didn't do it. But she mentioned it. Yes. That I want to do it this way. Yes. With you. Yes. I want to do it this way. And she spoke about do it this way, making yes. you to face the opposite side. Yeah. That I want to, and you were still young. But you said, I'm coming back. <laughs> yes. Yeah? Yes. You said, I'm coming back, and you were yeah. gone. It's true. You're about eight, nine. Mm. We are very young. Yes. You didn't do it that time. But she said, I want to do this to you and I can give you this much money. Mm. 
She said, and if I want to do it while you are facing the opposite direction, and then after, you said, I'm coming back. Yes. And you were gone. Yes, Mary. Am I right? You're right. That's what I'm saying. Let's go so, deep. If it's God, where was I then? But now you started growing up. It filled your thoughts. Now you do things like a man. They called you tomboy. And now this house that you visited in a room, you started practicing this thing. It came to you through It's true. Hmm? It's true. You visited a certain place, and I don't want to tell you how the person was <laughs> in bed. I don't want to say. That's what I'm saying. The moment you say no, I now find them wanting to come to me. No, 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 no. Now you drive me to go into exactly what was happening when you say that. So I'm led to prove you that no, don't say they, you are attracting them. No, you had those relationships and the first one you visited this house yeah. and in the room that was the beginning am i right yes the beginning of it yes and then i never tell my family you never told your family mm -mm. light in complexion <laughs> girl light in complexion girl <sighs> the mouth that you desired and it was an opportunity. And that's the beginning. That was the beginning of your lesbianism. Never allow anybody calling your daughter tomboy. At the time saying words were just spoken to her. But now those words around eight years were not good. She didn't do it. It never happened. She ran away. But now as you grow, being called a tomboy now, that's where the problem started now. Now flashbacks of the woman who met you. Maybe I was supposed to be that. Maybe I was supposed to do it. Yeah. And you met this woman, lighting complexion, in the room the house you visited. And that was the trap that began now. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Yes, daddy. We might think that we are hiding. When I say the hand will go to the root, the hand will speak exactly as I speak. The hand will remove the root when I lay hand. But let me speak what the hand will do as it takes out. It will take out what I'm talking about. And that was the beginning. The lady was light in complexion. Her name is Precious. Huh? Her name is Precious. Her name is Precious. Mm -hmm. And you discussed yes. how good it is than when you are a man. You spoke to her that. Yes. Her name is Precious. Mm -hmm. And that's how, that was the first Just, intercourse yes. with you and a woman. Mm -hmm. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 says, those who practice, so it started with a, as a practice. As a practice. But the relative who is now a male, distant, <laughs> distant, removed your preciousness. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Hmm? Yes. Distant. It's the one who broke you. Yeah. And also light in complexion. complexion. Now you met the woman, your first time in a room, light in complexion. Complexion. Yeah. And you started to picture her as the reality now. 
Now I'm trying to show you how we got. You, it's a relative distant. Huh? Huh? Fatter than you, but he's a man. <laughs> huh? Yes. Fatter than you, but he's a man. And that's the body that you never admired, but you started loving it. And that's when he, he dealt with you. That one broke your preciousness. That one broke your virginity. <clears throat> Who's going to run away today? Securities be at the door. Let me just speak to everybody. And that's what happened now. And then you are trapped in a room. This is the girl whom you started not forgetting. Yes. And that's the precious girl. Yes. But the man who broke your preciousness also light in complexion. Yes. You get it, no? Yes. But God loves you. Yes. Who is God? Today, the world, anybody who said the LGB, whatever, you know that God does not want this. You know that it's not godly. Because I was never there. I was never there. But this is what Jesus is saying. Tell the truth that sets free. She's experiencing spider webs. And that's when you met your match now. Mm. That's when you met your match. Yes. A boy and a boy. <laughs> huh? Yes, Papa. And that was a bad relationship. That one was with a man. Huh? Yes. Now you experience spider webs. Yes. But you practice because you felt now it's a match I can be. You get it, no? Mm. But in terms of you were called a tomboy, but you had relations with women. Yes. Let's care for Jesus Christ. <laughs> so Jesus Christ is here to set you free, to give you life. Because it does come to you even now. Yes. It does follow you even now. Even today. Even when I'm working with... Huh? <laughs> even when I'm working with my boyfriend, ladies will call me and tell Repeat my boyfriend... Repeat what? Even when I'm working with my boyfriend, ladies will stop me, tell my boyfriend that they want me. It follows you even now. Let's go for Jesus. It follows you even... Even today, even today, it follows you. What about those who disguise to make your boyfriend think that it's normal? It's just two ladies. Don't want me to say this issue. Let me stop here. Because it would look like it's fine, and yet the boyfriend knows nothing. Huh? Nothing. He knows nothing. Nothing. I will just tell him no, this lady's not. And now what will be happening? <sighs> the truth sets free. Amen. Get out! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Get out with every character. Oh. You live here. Get out! You homo spirit. Get out! You homo spirit. Get out! Quickly. What is dust to dust and ashes to ashes? Yeah. We bury the sin of sodomy. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. say in him there's life and that life became the light of mine and darkness will never overpower this please follow that route 
so that darkness that comes will not overpower you. So this comes out of a system. Darkness goes. Darkness. Get out! Out of the system. That's why if we can say no, they're just a threat. No, you drive me to say exactly the same things so that you can know <coughs> God sees me. <coughs> so if you say this and I go with it, darkness has power to me. Darkness has overpowered me. So darkness will not overpower you if you keep the life of Christ in you. Because in him there was life and that life became our light. And darkness will never overpower that. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. The guy who said, I said, no. The people you are with. And one can be misled when he says, these people are pastors. No, darkness has never overpowered the light. If she says, no, the, I'm attracted. No, 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 no. I know exactly. Now, God opens another one. The room that you went in. God opens another one. When you were eight, it was a woman. <laughs> you leave the tomb. Leave the tomb. Leave the tomb. It's not a male organ. It's the womb. It's not a male organ. It's the womb. You leave it. You leave it. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's not a male organ. It's a womb. So you leave it. It's the womb man. It's the womb man. So you leave it. You leave it. You leave it. And we address this tomboy visibility. We cause it to live in. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you not surprised? I said, you spare away. Don't worry, I'm coming. <laughs> but Jesus Christ is full of life. He sets people free. So value the life of Christ so that everything that comes, darkness will never overpower you. No deception. No lying. No, no, he I track them. No, 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 no. The moment you say I track them, so uh, uh, no, 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 no. Because God opens a door for me. Look in that room. Look when she was eight. Look what happened. Because darkness shall not overpower light. You go out completely. Take out everything. Take out everything. Take out. Take out. Out of the throat. Take out. Take out. Take out. Help. And we remove this. The boyfriend will have to marry now a woman now. Yes, on a serious note, I mean, imagine what we talk about. Now she says, even when I'm about they look at, no, 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 let's talk about when he thinks that you're friends and you know. Take everything out. Take it out. Take out. Take out. Out. Take out. Take everything out. Take out. Take out. Take everything out. This comes out of the throat, including the mask. Including the mask. It all goes. Because no woman will now look at her and think, 
Ish. So it will go. That's so dummy. The mask will go. You see the mask? That's all those loops. But this she had long ago. That's why she was called a Tom. Tomboy. And now you go, you practice it. Just because somebody said you are a Tom, take everything and go. You'll never return to this body. You'll never return to her. Your time is up. You're finished. And you live completely in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Stand up. What's your name, by the way? Mpone. <laughs> Where's your, your, your boyfriend, your partner? I was supposed to come with him today, but he went to see her, his friend. He came with his friend to the flat. When he came, he's supposed to come and we go, but he, he already drank. He was drunk. Alcohol. Mm. He was drunk. Yeah, so he was asking. He was asking already drunk me. with alcohol. He was asking me, am I going to church? I said, yes, I'm going. I said, okay. He said, okay. Take the money. Go to church. He gave you the money to go to church. Yes. For that doing, I pray for his addiction of alcohol to leave him. Amen. I pray for his salvation. I pray for God to set him free and to remove him from this kind of life. Amen. Because if he continues to drink alcohol, away. They will take his partner from him while he's not aware. Father, have mercy upon your daughter. Have mercy upon that man. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the love that of God has located him now, removing drunkenness, removing addiction of alcohol. So when you go back, you speak to him, say, please, just tell him, please, I want to see him. I will, Papa. Tell him that I'm waiting for him. Then I'll sit down with you to help you. Amen. You saw the mask now. That's how she appeared before women. But Jesus Christ, so full of mercy, has set her free. Amen. So let's enter the throne of grace so that we can receive mercy. So what has entangled her? Spider webs. Where are they now? You understand now, ne? Yes. God has set you free. God has given you life, ne? Amen. But I would like to pray. Is it the right? It's right, yes. Huh? Yes. It's the right? It's the, no. it's the, it's the left? Left. It's the left, ne? Mm. It's the left, ne? Yes. From just yes. deep inside, yes. it goes into the lung okay, and feel it coming to the back. Yes. How long does that, was, that, was that happening? Since last year. Since last even, year. Even every time when, especially when I want to read the Bible, I will be feeling pain here. You feel pain, back. Eh? Yeah, we even pray when for that, I wake up. it's going to go. Amen. And sometimes we like doing this with the bra. Yes. With the bra. Yes. You do this. Yes. Because it's like you can't get the right size of a bra. Because yes. it holds you tight. Yes. Pull out! The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pull out! Separate from me. Believe in. Believe in. Believe in. Who knows this? Who knows this? Who knows this? Jesus knows everything. It's a matter of seeing through the eyes of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So as she's holding herself there, that thing goes. Eh? Get out! You live here. Jesus Christ. 
You go out completely. You live in. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You go out. Take, take, take out. You see when I said the brother. Look at that. Look at that. How did I see it? Through the eyes of Jesus. What does it say? Revelations chapter 5. What does it say? Seven horns meaning complete power. Seven eyes meaning complete knowledge. Seven fold holders were sent out throughout the whole world. So wherever you go, the eyes have already gone there. So you see through the eyes of Jesus, the Holy Spirit. Sevenfold Holy Spirit sent out throughout the whole world. So nothing is hidden from him and no darkness can overpower such light. You go out completely. And this is the case where you are with people and people under the impression that they just speak but you just look. And it's painful when Jesus even said, don't tell him anything. So that's when we talk about it's under the control of the prophet. You become quiet when necessary. Under the control of the meaning, self-control. You become quiet when? So you allow God to speak. It will have its moment. It will have its... You live. You see the issue of the bra now? It all goes, it all departs. Don't worry, she's going to be a woman. She'll enjoy wearing bra. She'll... Get out! The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Separate from here. Completely. Separate from here. You buy the right size, but it's like it's not your size. It's spiritual. The word of the Lord has come upon you. You're removing everything. The mighty name of Jesus. Check your bra and tell me how are you? now. Now, now, oh, her breast went big, her breast were even bigger than this. Oh, huh? yes, her breast were even bigger than this. If anybody would see it before, you know, in a bra, hold it tight, even now. Yes, I'm explaining. It's spiritual. When the doctor explains it, you, do, you don't have a problem. Just because it's me. Leave me alone. No? Yeah? Yeah? Oh, yes. What about the balance? And the feel. <laughs> now my breasts are fine and they've shrinked. You looked careless, sister. You look very careless, sister. But today, the Lord has brought back order and dignity in your life. The dignity of a woman. The dignity of a woman is big. Is it tight now? No. It's fine. It's fine now? Mm. 
him. No longer. Uh, uh, I was always like. You do like that. Mm. You do that, ne? Uh, but you. No. You. <laughs> what loves you? <laughs> now, the Lord Jesus Christ has set you free. Bring that man. Tell him today. With not following you, enter. Just say we're not doing as usual. He told me everything, and he needs you. Please come with me tomorrow. <laughs> she can't believe it. She can't believe it. Yeah? Yeah? Who did that? God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's the one who sees everything and gives them to me to tell. That everybody can know that Jesus, God, is here. Amen. God is with you, ne? Amen. So, when you arrive, say, I don't want to mess myself up. Please, let's go. You also, you need him to pray for you. And he said he will speak to you, even personally. Yes. Don't worry. Don't worry about <laughs> nothing. It's for free. <laughs> now, yeah, I am Allah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, tell him, I don't care where you come from or who you are background, I'll see you. I'll see you. It's not a matter of which level qualifies, no, anybody who deserves to be ministered to. So God is with you, ne? Amen. So God is with you. What can you say about Jesus now? Oh. Papa, God is great. If what I'm seeing now, Papa, God is great. Thank you. God is great. Oh, thank you. God is great. Papa, it was like, huh? Jesus, it was like coming out. I was always fixing it, doing like this. Now, ow. Everything went inside. <laughs> Let's live for Jesus Christ. Let's live for Jesus Christ. Let's live for King. Let's live for King. So, God is with you, ne? Go give your testimony, but you're still going to come with another testimony. Amen. And how you walk and everything, how you walk, the dignity of a woman Amen. has been given back. Amen. God has removed that. Amen. You must read 1 Corinthians chapter 8. It says, those who practice, and it's a lot of things that I mentioned there, including the category that I mentioned on here now. Many want to say, hey, hey, this. No, it's practice. Romans 1, it says, because they handed themselves, they gave themselves over to such. God handed them over. And it's difficult to come out of it. It's grace when God takes you out of it. Amen. God is with you, ne? Amen. God loves you. Go give your testimony. Let's celebrate Jesus Christ. Messiah's greetings viewers all over the world. This is Raboni Center Ministries and you're tuned in to Raboni TV where fulfillment is captured. You're watching a Friday live service and this is the year of the joy set before us. As seen in the video administration played prior, our father, Prophet Seho Daniel, gave a prophecy which our sister responded to and our sister is here to confirm the prophecy and to also testify after she received um, deliverance and healing for the ailments she had prior to the the prophecy but let us hear a bit more about it from our sister messiah's greetings our sister may you please introduce yourself and let us know where you're from messiah's greetings my name is umpoma songani from pretoria cvd Amen. So our sister, earlier on during the service, our father was praying um, for one of the congregants who had a sensation of a spider web um, feeling on her face. We also see you manifest into a similar um, prophecy where you had that sensation. Can you confirm this to be true? And when did you start feeling like there's a spider web on your face? Yes, that is true. And when it started from like two years back, but it's long. Yes, that one is true. Amen. And our sister, um, the other thing our father gave a prophecy for um, is that growing up, um, you were you had people calling you saying that you were tomboy. Can you let us know um, if that was happening and what were people saying to you as you were growing up? They were saying always like I'm playing like a boy. Everything I'm doing is like a boy. That is true. What Papa said. 
Amen. And we also see um, our father saying that he's been struggling with the spirit of lesbianism and homosexuality. And he said the root really where most of the things were planted besides people calling you a tomboy was that when you're around eight or nine, there was a lady in your neighborhood um, who said inappropriate things or touching in an appropriate way, in an inappropriate way. Can you confirm this to be true? Run about what age were you when this happened and what did the lady do? Yes, that is true. When I was in, I was nine years old. Yes, that is true. We went, I went to her place. She started removing her clothes and telling me that I must look her side after. I said that, no, this is going to be something else. I just told her that I'm coming. Let me go outside. I'm coming now, now. So and since then, I left. I never go back to her place anymore. And what would happen when you see that that lady live in the same neighborhood as you, or where did you meet this lady? No, the lady she's staying is uh, like long distance in, but in the same street. Yeah. So now, after that happened, what would happen when you guys bump into each other or see each other again? I don't pass there where she's staying. I never pass there. I'll just take another route to pass the another side. So now we also see another prophecy from our father. I'm um, just liberated because um, you mentioned that when our father was talking about the homosexuality and lesbianism, you mentioned that you had thought about him and our father said, no, you had practiced it. And she said that he said the first time you practiced it was with the light in complexion lady. That's when now you started doing the, the homosexual practice. Can you confirm the prophecy to be true and let us know a bit more about it? Yes, that is true. The first day I did it, we practiced it, me and the lady that her name called Precious. We did practice it the first. Yes, that is true. So are you confirming that there was a light and complexion lady that you did things with, intimate things with? And our father also mentioned that um, you were in your room. Can you let us know, where did you meet this lady? We met at a part. And we went together to my friend's place where I visit. So we started there, we just told each other, let's try, let's practice, let's start it. When we, we just did it, everything happened. And Papa, what he's saying is true. So it was a light and complexion lady like Papa mentioned? Yes. And you were doing intimate things and kissing each other? Yes. Okay, and our father mentioned that after that, then um, that's when you met a match. You met a light and complexion guy who who was a bit big and weight, and he's the guy who took your virginity. Can you confirm this to be true? Let us know a bit more about that. Yes, that is true. I got. I have a the person that do take my virginity. That is true. Was he also a light? Yeah, it was. He was a light completion also. And where had you met this guy? We met in the street, me and him, and we just started talking. He said he loved me. After we went to his place, and things just happened. We make love. So now, um, can you let us know after dating this? Guy, now when when things ended, did you go back to dating girls? Were you dating guys, or what was happening? I was dating both. Yeah, I was dating both. I was with, with ladies. I was with a man. I was with ladies. I was with a man. I was dating both of them. And currently, w are you dating girls or were you dating guys? And in, in this current year, I'm dating a guy now. And the guy, ladies will always stop me, trying to talk to me when I'm with him. And some do try to kiss me when he's there. Some they kiss me when he's there. And you ask, who are they? I'll just say it's friends. Yes. 
So we see our sister confirming that um, this homosexual spirit that our father was delivering her from has been following her. Even in instances where she's dating a guy, like currently girls would still come and still want um, to, to, to be intimate with her in front of her current boyfriend. Asta, we also see our father praying for your, for your womb. Can you let us know, did you have any womb pain that you experienced? Yes, I'll have every time. Every morning, especially even every morning, every night, every night is it's warm, but every morning is at the back. Every night it's warm pains. I will have a crisscramp pains, like all oh, my warm. And the other thing I um, would see um, before I pray for you, um, yes, you're in a relationship with the guy. Would you feel that sometimes you'll be struggling with thoughts of the first encounter you had with um, the lady you said her name was Precious on the video? Um, would you struggle with those thoughts and with the thoughts of wanting to go back to lesbianism? Sometimes I have... I'll think about her and I'll think about going back to ladies, but I no. I have a man now. I, I want. So, would you find that you're you trying to change and stay with the man, but you're fighting a whole lot of feelings? Yeah. But you, your desire is to stay with the man. Yes, yes, it's true. And then um, the other thing we see, our father gives a prophecy about um, the bra size, not finding the right bra size. Can you let us know a bit about that? That um, most of them are small. Yes, that is true. I will buy a bra, and the bra will fit me on the shop. And But when I come out from the shop, it will be coming out, I'm always fixing it, fixing it. The best will come out. But now since he pray for me, like this bra is big, <laughs> the, the price are small. I, I don't know, but God is great. Amen. Our sister is telling about instant bra um, breast reduction. She'd buy a bra and in the shop it would fit, but as she leaves, it it'll feel like it's too small. And now after our father prayed for her, it actually feels like it's too big. And can you let us know how's the pains that you were feeling, the womb pains you were feeling after our father prayed for you? It's fine. I don't I don't feel anything anymore. I don't feel pains anymore. Amen. And do you have any thoughts or um that was bothering you about the previous woman about any homosexual acts? No. No. Nothing. Amen. Can you let us know um when was the first time you actually came to Raboni? It was month end of June this 2024. Amen. And so how was the is this the, the the third time or how how long have you how many times have you come since then? Since uh, since um, month end of June, I've been coming every Friday. Yeah. Yes. Amen. I missed only one Friday. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And we're so grateful that God had an appointment with you today and has delivered you. So um, what would you like to say to the Lord Jesus Christ and to our Father, Prophet Lesoko Daniel, for this deliverance that you've received from this homosexual spirit and also this healing you've received from your womb and from um the breast that didn't fit, even though you by correct bar, they would still become oversized. What would you like to say in appreciation to Lord Jesus Christ and to our Father, Prophet Sahodan? What I would like to say, I will just say, God, thank you. Thank you for delivering me. And thank you for Papa Lesiho. Thank you very much. Thanks. Amen. And what would you like to say to people who are struggling um, with a uh, homosexual spirit or struggling with lesbianism? Yeah, I would like to say to them, uh, they need to see God. There is God. God is always there for us. But I like to say God must be with them. God must see them through. They will see what is happening about lesbian style. They will see what is going on. Just say, let them see God. Let them know. I wish that they can know God. Even there is that, that, that there is that they don't they know God. There is that they don't know God. I wish all of them they must come to God. God must deliver them from this lesbian style. Thank you.
Amen, amen. And there we have it, viewers all over the world. What a beautiful testimony it is from our sister who got delivered and um, had been initiated into homosexuality as a young girl and is here to give a testimony um, being delivered, not just delivered from that, but also being healed from the ailments that she had. So um, from our brothers and sisters and from Raboni TV, it is to God be the glory. Thank you.